That's right, powerful green arrows right into your glowy shielded face. Hello everybody, my name's James. This is Epic Odyssey, our sponsored feature for the week. We do them from time to time, we tell you up front. We've got a giveaway for you today. We're going to be chucking 10 scrolls in your general direction. What do scrolls do, you quite rightly ask? Well, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you what this game is all about. We've got some top-down RPG action for you here. I'm wandering around, I'm chatting to the locals and indulging myself in a quest where I have to take on, look at the size of this boy. Oh my god. A rare breed indeed with the size of that I'm going to say, I was going to say paunch, I was going to be mean. I'm going to say it looks more like a chastity belt to me from here. Let's see how he handles. Oh, he rolls. My word. So, what's this game all about? It's about wandering around a large, fancy world. 30 different levels, worlds, I guess you would call them. Uh, I've done three, and this is the fourth that I'm wandering through right now. You collect characters as you go, so you meet new people to get involved with, and they join your gang. Uh, and then you can set about doing battles with any formation of your crew that you like. They take up three different categories. You've got humans and demi-humans, who are represented in a kind of gold. You've got these nature spirits, who are green, and a demon's army, like the big, uh, large-chested or stomached gentleman uh, I just defeated. So that's an evil god. Not quite the challenge I was expecting, she says. He may be deceiving us into thinking he's weak. We should be wary. Yeah, I'm not going to be wary. I'm fine. I'm going to smash through this. So, let me just show you what we're dealing with here. We've got a world map right now, and this gives us the worlds that I fought through and the stuff still to come. We also have our list of characters. So, here's the crew I've assembled so far. I can do a little bit of leveling here, but I'm also going to show you how to summon some folks as well. So, I picked up some new items. You can see right here I've got a list of equipment that I've uh, collected over the course of my journey. You have to go and look at it and investigate it for it to become visible. And I can choose what I want to put in here directly by just, you know, smashing in the right character bit. Or I can hit auto-equip down here. And it will, based on what I've got, kind of choose the right stuff for the right characters. So, Renna, she's my powerful archer type. Dryad, she's clearly a nature girl. She's got these huge stomping arms. Check these guys out. They are quite good. She does that, like, Hulk clap smash thing, which uh, you know, works a treat when you're in the midst of the battle. Um, I should probably do some leveling here. And I'm going to do a times 10 level. Bottom left-hand corner, I'm going to smash it with no regard for my current amount of stuff. Skill unlocked, unite! Yeah, that's what I like to see. So, I've just bammed myself up 10 levels. I'm doing this for all of them, all of them that I can anyway, because now I'm hitting the point where the level of the characters is starting to get a little bit out, outflanked, outmatched by the people whom I am fighting. So I want to make sure everybody, there we go, is up to, up to seven. There we go. That's pretty good. I think I can, I think I can deal with that. You're level 40, you've got a bit of a perk over the other ones. So that's the character group. I've got these different areas I can move around as well. There are events that I can participate in. There's this Demon's Queen's Palace thing, which I'm not going to do right now because it's going to take me away from my, my main task for the day. And of course, there's a bunch of items and bits and bobs. So if I wanted to summon a character, which you know what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to use my epic summoning piece. And we have summoned Drogor, a big-ass dragon. Let's go and have a look at Drogor. I want to see what he's all... It's him! This is amazing! This is serendipity! I have- this is just a random thing! I've just summoned the large chastity belt dragon! Oh, you're my favourite guy! Right, I'm gonna ten times level you up. I've collected enough gold to be able to do this, and I'm gonna smash you again. And do I have enough? I do have enough. Again. Right, we're bringing you up to level with everybody else. We're gonna equip you with a whole bunch of stuff via auto-equip. Look, you've got a nice jacket now, and oh... Oh, he's all kitted up and ready to go. This is excellent. And I can now smash him into my squad when I get into the fisticuffs. First of all, let's go grab this, because I want it for myself. And I am I'm think I've nearly explored all of this. So, as you can see, I can kind of zoom in and zoom out on this, but it's got that fog of war system where you explore an area and it will gradually uncover itself as you wander through. I'm thinking, here we go. Oh, this looks... hmm. I'm going to have to fight my own pal, or another version of my own pal. The airship's about to take off. Oh, this is going to give me access to the traveling bit. Yes, let's get stuck in here. So, last time was a test. Now I am serious. And then the battles play out. So as you can see here, you've got the kind of rock, paper, scissors thing going on up top with the faction bonuses and whatnot. So the idea is one faction is more powerful against another and weaker against another. But also, if you put out certain members of your factions together, they'll buff each other. So if I have a bunch of nature folks or a bunch of human folks all in the same group, then they'll give each other little perks and boosts. I'm going to... I don't want to... Actually, I do. I want to bring out... I'm kind of tempted to bring out the dragon and stick him in there. 
See how he likes that. He's notably smaller than the other one, but whatever. Let's go and do it. You can change the arrangement on the battlefield. You want to put your ranged people at the back and your melee up front, as is standard with this kind of thing. I feel bad. I feel like I've pitched, like, brother against brother. Or cousin. He's just eaten me! This is a... Right, I did not see that coming. He's literally picked up my character and just, like, gobbled me up. Got him now, though. Beating him up from the inside. Exploded out of him. Like, particularly angry bout of indigestion. Oh, he's appeared again. Nuts. They're, that gobbling thing is quite the move. I've not encountered that before. I have a feeling, though, he's no match for me. Now, these play out in their own time. I can speed it up if I want to. I can double speed down here, bottom right-hand corner. Uh, luckily, I just defeated them anyway. And I claimed all my stuff. Bunch of different currencies and things as you'd expect from this kind of thing. Uh, the stuff that you need to worry about in terms of like, for example, upgrading characters and leveling up. They used to use the spirit, which is the blue thing, uh, and gold. And then you also have the, uh, the orange doodads as well if you want to get fancy. But that only occurs later on. When you're leveling up people at the beginning, all you need to worry about is gold uh, and the other stuff. Let's move in here. Going to grab some stuff. There's plenty of loot around. So those of you who are kind of Diablo fans and like wandering around and grabbing bunches of stuff uh, will be pleased to see boxes that demand opening. We all like that. I'm double speeding these so I can kind of rush through. But you get an idea of how the battles play out. I've lost plenty of these over the course of the three, four levels I've done. But go back, kind of buff your troops up, rearrange your, your layout on the screen and... Uh, you tend to be able to stumble into something that will get you through. It's not like it's going to completely stitch you up and prevent you from progressing any further within the first three levels. That's not that's not what you're dealing with here. Someone looks a bit tradery, but I'm going to have to lay into this person big time. Now, as you promised, we're going to be giving away ten scrolls, uh, which will allow you to do some summons in your own game if you choose to download it. And I'm going to put those on the screen now. There you go. First person to redeem is the person who gets all them scrolls. So type quick uh, and you will be able to do it. You have to redeem it within the game itself. So you need to download the thing in order for it to work. If you've already got it downloaded, then you probably, you've probably redeemed it already and it's gone. But give it a try anyway. Let's see what you can do. I particularly like the fighting style on the, the big armed lady with the floaty tree branches for arms. I think that's, uh, that's kind of... That's kind of neat. I'm envious, because she's kind of floating in the middle of the two of them and really doesn't have to touch any of the, the demons. I would quite like a pair of hands that I would just float beside me and I didn't have to do any of the miserable day-to-day, -day, you know, washing up type stuff. Right, you see I've got two people here in the central column, so I'm going to move him over here. Actually, you know what, I'm going to replace him. Let's get rid of him. I want to put... Who haven't I got on the field? My benighted person's down. You're down. You're down. Aha. There we go. Put my archer here and I'll put her at the back because she is ranged and that way he'll charge towards the middle and ignore her. Yes. See? The strategy works. So, Epic Odyssey is the name of this one. Hope you redeem that code, whoever you are. Enjoy the game. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.